Salutations, it's your old Power Revenge creature, and I had a couple of minutes before I took off for work. Just wanted to show one of my random shelves here. Um, I wanted to start here. This is a vintage Kenner 12-inch uh, Stormtrooper. I don't have his gun, but there's some really cool Kenner items up here. Um, this is a modern Princess Leia statue. I, I got that shortly before Carrie's passing this year, so uh, I definitely proudly display that in my memory of um, my favorite childhood princess. Um, this is a little mouse droid that came out of a cereal box, I think. Kenner uh, die cast, that's the uh, snow speeder and the falcon. There's a uh, Jabba's Palace Leia figure. I um, think that came from some sort of board game, or maybe it's a um, uh, applause figure. It's a, a vinyl, or, or, or it's like a soft plastic. There's a vintage Kenner um, Ewok. I'm sorry about the light. The sun's right outside the window. Uh, that's a Kenner Ewok Return of the Jedi uh, thermos from a lunchbox. And then we have the vintage Kenner uh, Star Destroyer. And yes, mine still has the rock, uh, blockade runner in there. So, pretty cool. Uh, I can't shut it with one hand. The Y-Wing Bomber, and you can see it still has the bomb. Uh, here are some of the Kenner Action Masters. These were die-cast figures that came out, uh, I think, around 95 or so. Uh, right around the time the Micro Machines came out and re, uh, re reinvigorated the Star Wars line, and then we had Power of the Force 2, and the rest is history. Uh, Campbell's Soup, I think that came out during Force Awakens. There's some uh, Chewy plush uh, that was given to me. I, don't know, I think that might be a pet toy, actually. Uh, there's a Kylo Ren shuttle in white. That's one of those Star Wars titaniums. I got that because I didn't know, you know, I didn't see, I, I, it felt like that was some kind of variation, so I don't know if it is or not. Uh, moving down to this next shelf here, uh, that's one of the Hot Wheels, or that's the Titanium TIE Fighter, I believe. There's the black Kylo Ren shuttle, and there's some uh, uh, Kylo Ren uh, tissues behind those figures. Um, this is the Disney Infinity um, Sabine figure. And then this is my group of Rebels figures here. Sorry about the, again, sorry about the uh, lighting. Uh, Rex in the back, and uh, Kanan... Chopper, my favorite character. Uh, Sabine over here. I don't have Hera. And there's Zeb. Um, so, and then there's a, a small Takara uh, Boba Fett back there. I don't know if it'll focus on him, kind of. Yeah. Pretty cool. He's like die cast and plastic. That's a, um, an R2-D2. It's like a fridge magnet made from those beads. Um, the old Micro Machines Rancor with uh, Jedi Luke and a Gamorrean Guard. Funko Pop uh, Sand Trooper. Uh, my little Sand Trooper Focus, um, uh, right there. Black Series, uh, Power of the Force 2, and a couple of Legacy figures. This is um, that Clone Wars era uh, Stormtrooper, Clone Trooper uh, fidget spinner. Uh, a guy, uh, Eric, uh, made for me. That was really cool. Um, then here's a shelf of just random stuff. I'm going to kind of hurry through these because I'm pretty sure I'm running out of time now. Uh, in the very back there, Biker Mice from Mars. I never watched the show, but... Um, I think I needed one of those toys in the back of my collection. There's a Secret Wars Wolverine with his claws. Captain Power, uh, or Captain, excuse me, Captain Planet figure back there. Um, wasn't a, I didn't really like, watch that show or anything, but again, it's from a time period that, um, still holds a little bit of nostalgia for me. Um, uh, there's some, uh, Dragon Riders of the Sticks figures, a couple of die-cast Shogun Warriors, uh, Clash of the Titans... There's a, a Batman from a um, Happy Meal promotion. There's a squishy Ghostbusters uh, Marshmallow Man. <laughs> a little Alf. Uh, Fisher Price. There's a wrestler figure back there. I'm not sure. It's one of the Legion of Doom, maybe. Uh, there's an 89 Batmobile. A, a ceramic Pac-Man. Uh, there's um, Ted. Or is that Bill? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. But anyway, there's a Keanu Reese figure from Bill and Ted. A couple of Dick Tracy's. Uh, Boss Hog, Mario, there's a GoBot, white, uh, white version of Crasher, um, there's the uh, G.I. Joe Diecast Ram, a uh, couple of other Hasbro figures, there's a late uh, World War II series G.I. Joe figure from the uh, Sergeant Savage series, that was like 93 I think, um, then there's a, a Cops figure to his right with the red pants, uh, in the back is um, a one of the bad guys from Silverhawks. I think that is all the things on that random shelf. And then down there is muscle figures, um, various ones, some of the, the later ones, colored ones in front. 
Um, Timmy Toys. Um, oh, these were by Mattel, of course. And uh, zoom in on some of those weird little dudes there. You can focus. Look at those guys. They're so cool. Uh, and then over here we have some of the Galaxy... Um, Laser Galaxy... Is it... What is it? Laser... Galaxy Laser Team. Excuse me. Uh, and I was really all about collecting these guys a, a few years back, two or three years back, and trying to get all of them. Um, there's some Mexico versions in there. Uh, some of the colors uh, that were only produced in Mexico. Some of the larger figures there. And they were obviously a cash on Star Wars. And me and my sister, little sister, used to play with these guys all the time. Uh, we had a quilt, um, and we would use it um, like the battlefield. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, those are just childhood memories. It's some random stuff on a shelf. And yeah, as you guys know, you know, I, I got I got plenty of stuff to show off later on. So one of these days, I'm going to take you through this shelf down here. One of everything. Well, thanks for watching another Revenge Creature video. I'll see you on the next one. And as always, Osquinoxo!